says if your meeting is videotaped which it is the open meeting law requires you to advise open session meeting attendees as follows open session public meetings are subject to being recorded your image and your voice may be recorded per the open meeting law mass general laws chapter 30a section 20e so i'll call the meeting to to order and it's uh 6.33 p.m. on Wednesday, April 27th, 22. Uh, let's see. It's the first item of business. Now, um, the minutes. I sent out the minutes. And oh. I think we make a motion to accept the minutes as written. Okay, great. So I sent out two sets of minutes. I sent out the, um... Here he comes. Oh. On time as usual. Hi. No, you're fine. You're fine. Get um, back in my head, Budge. Yeah. Well, I'll sit in there, June. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, so I just brought up the minutes. I had sent those two yes. sets of minutes. The um, 30th of March, and was it the 13th of... Yep, yep. The 13th of... Um, April. April. So Sue made a motion to approve. I'll second it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> she's, she's muted. She's, she's muted. muted. She's going to be talking to us. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> She hasn't figured it out yet. I was trying to print something at the same time, and I didn't want to disturb anybody. Okay, and then the second item of business. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm fine. PAFs. Do we have any PAFs? Um, I do not. Okay. Have any completed at this time? Okay, great. Nothing. Okay, and then we've got um, position reviews and advertising. Do we have any advertisements that we need to review? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, you're going to be talking about, uh, there are two job descriptions. Yep. Um, out of the four that I sent you. Yep. Probably deserve a, uh, a look tonight. Um, and those are the two highway ones. Yep. And I did draft up two job ads for those. Okay, great. So I can just kind of. So on the job. On the job description. Can I have one of those? And Do you have some printed out, June? That was pretty recently. I didn't print uh, the highways out. It was approved last year. Let and me look at this real quick. Yep. Go right ahead. It was approved March of 2021. And the position was last posted in September 2021. The truck, the truck driver one, Ma Margaret? The truck driver one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only thing that Fred is proposing to change on this is to mandate the CDLB license. Yes. So before it was, uh, it, it was uh, preferred and required within one year of, of hire. He wants to mandate it, um, and then the hoisting license would be desired. Okay. I'll agree with that. Okay. So is that? And the only other thing that I wanted to, I know we have the um, FLSA um, footer on the on the thir on the second or third page but i did not see it on the first or second page the um flsa non-exempt at the bottom oh. for that one yeah us uh, we usually have a footer up the right maybe the footer came off of, of fred's version so yeah that okay and the only other thing was just lining up all the bullets that's all Would are you on the the, the truck driver one? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, because that's a non-exempt position, and yeah, no, that looked good, Margaret. I thought everything looked good. Okay. So the job ad, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I, I sent it late today. I apologize, and I'll, I'll just read it to you. Okay. Because, okay. Town of Berlin seeks qualified candidates for the full-time, 40 hours per week, benefited position of highway driver laborer, starting immediately. The position works under the direct supervision of the highway and facility superintendent. The successful candidate must possess a Class B CDL at time of hire. Hoisting license is desired. 
The pay range for this grade six position is twenty dollars an hour, with an anticipated hiring rate of X. That's something we need to fill in per hour, depending on qualifications and experience. And then it's just a standard full job description is available at the Midtown of Berlin employment application to select board office. Application will be accepted until the position is filled. Didn't, didn't you, um... So what we need to take into account is that we have another driver laborer in the position right now. Yeah. Now, yeah. And he is, June, what is his current step? I don't know. <laughs> so, don't you know who's off the top of your head? Is he, is he a five one or is he? What I do Which one are you talking about? Matt. Matt. No, he's at six. Six. Matt's at a six. I don't have he has his. I can actually look at his last pass. Labor driver. Is just trying to look to see six what, two? what we changed. Is that it right? To. Turn about right. Up. Six two, Margaret. He went up. Remember him? No, he's higher than that because he's six. Came with his CDLB right. and his voicing. Six on seven. seven. Six seven. He's at. Yeah, that might be it. Six seven, I believe. John needs roller skates. You gotta get those sketches with them. So the laborer driver, we moved to grade seven for uh, fiscal twenty three. Yes. I mean, yeah, fiscal twenty three. So that would start in July, right, Margaret? That starts in July, correct? Yeah. Okay. It looks, huh, it looks like Matt is currently at a grade five, step twelve, or is that just his? Let me see if he's moved since he actually took the position in October. Seven four. Seven four. June just said. Seven four. Seven. Seven four. Yeah, I knew it was up there. As yeah. Today. As of today. Okay. I think he's going to change as of July. July, July first. Six twelve. And he gets bumped up. Can't be at a twenty. He can't. If it was at a, a five. Oh, it's seven. Seven. Four. Four. <laughs> Three. <laughs> so it's still. So. It's still at a, a, at a grade six for right now, right? Or no, it, it's seven. at a seven. seven. Did we move those as of January 1st? Is that what we yes. did? We Okay. As of January 1st, we moved those. Okay, that's what I thought, okay. But I... So that's it. And the current labor, labor or driver was listed as a seven four. Okay, can That's I? Where he is. Here I go. I'm gonna try. I thought we were just gonna put the range in, and then when they came I, in, that's what I was gonna say. Don't say this. Don't is what say it's the anticipated rate. I thought we were just gonna put the range in, and then when they came in with their experience and licenses, then we would base it on that. Base it on that, but it was within that range and not come up with an actual. I think the last one we actually took it out of. I do too. I think we expected amount. Keep the dollar range. Keep the range, but that way you don't lock yourself into something right. that can get you in some trouble. Right. So put it at a seven. Yeah. No, okay. seven four. The seven four has a range. Just put it oh, in the same mean, range so that you have in that ad. Leave the the range. Get rid of the expected to start at section. But keep the twenty dollars and two cents to twenty five dollars and fifty nine cents. Oh. But no okay. expected to start at. At the house. Oh, rate. so just give the range itself. So yes. it's a grade seven position. Okay. 
seven four. And that is oh no, we don't want the four. Right. No. Right. Just right. The four. Two, Just seven. Two, I think usually we only put it up halfway. I think is what we did on the one we took it off of. Yep. Oh, so the hiring range? Oh. To start would be between one and four, I think. Dollar amounts that you list. But Matt is at, oh, Matt is at a four. Right, so he came with qualifications. Does that make sense? Okay. <coughs> Want to include an anticipated hiring range? No, or no, not? that's no. what they're saying. No. Okay, that's it. So we're just going to do the pay range for this grade seven position is twenty two forty two to twenty eight sixty three an hour, depending on qualifications and experience. Right. Yes. Yep. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> I am going to. Uh, Certified in OSHA. Um, Minimum in OSHA, OSHA 10. 10 certification. It doesn't say that on the job description, but we might want to change just um, rather than certified in OSHA under special requirements licenses, we might want to put OSHA 10 certification. Tom, that's the standard one, right? Correct. I don't know if the town, they have to. Um, get an OSHA 30. But OSHA 10 is a standard one. Okay. So and that lasts a lifetime. Really? You never have to? Huh. But OSHA 30, so you got to go every Matt couple of years. Does Class B CDL and OSHA 10 certification at time of hire? Yes. And then if the other one is required, they can always get that. Out. The hydraulics. Oh, is that what it comes with? The OSHA 30? Is that what you mean? Uh, it's there. more in depth okay. for like trenches, uh, even like. Uh, so I was gonna say okay, at one time it was one. trench training here. Okay. It covers a lot more. So that advertisement <coughs> that that Margaret read, uh, I'd like to make a motion that we approve that so that it can get posted. I will second that. Any other discussion? No? no. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. You're looking at me like I was supposed to say something. <laughs> Let's see if you had I anything like to add. To her talk. Okay, <laughs> I know. Poor Sue. <laughs> so that's Lunch, the. That's uh, don't, make you, <coughs> don't make me laugh or I'll start coughing. I just. Oh, these allergies. <laughs> I got a ton of stuff. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, definitely. So the, the next work. one that you had given us, Margaret, is the um, highway mechanic laborer heavy machinery equipment operator. And that looked, yeah. I thought that looked good. Um, it has the footer down there, the non exempt. I position footer. I want to see where we have that. It should be range. in there. That should be. I thought we took the mechanical thing out of it, though. That was that out of the last one. No, it's out of it. It's just called an HMEO laborer driver. Heavy equipment operator. But they are required to do mechanical duties. There are some things that you have to do basic mechanical stuff. So that's on the higher range, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, this what. position here as a mechanic, laborer, and HMEO. Um, that should be. I don't even know if we. Yeah. So that was. It's around 20. Um, we did the AG HMEO driver labor, but we didn't do the mechanic one in the past. Um, it actually it was heavy clear. equipment. The only difference is one is a master versus one is heavy equipment. Uh, master mechanic. I uh, know it just says master heavy equipment, and I think we were going to do away with that. Is that what it was, Margaret? Is to get rid of the master. 
Yes, get rid of the master because you're bumping the regular HMEO driver laborer up to uh, what do we? Seven yeah. Seven because the laborer driver's gone up to a seven. So right. Uh, so seven that should be an eight. Is that heavy equipment operator only? And then um, Fred's old position. Correct. Was Which at eight, but it was listed here as master. Yeah. I see that. Yeah, I see that listed as so master. But what? Eight, a, what? I guess my eight, my concern would be the mechanic be part eight. of it because that's huge, and there's nothing here that says mechanic in all of our former yeah, it, job it descriptions is. except for the foreman. Highway equipment operator, driver, or laborer, or mechanic. Oh, there is. I'm sorry. It's at the end versus okay. The beginning. So that's going to be. A grade eight, right? Are we going to keep that at a grade eight? Um, is that yes? yes. The this is not bumping up. But the grade right. eight. Okay. Grade eight. Okay, so that's but a grade eight. eight. Correct. But what I'm saying is grade so eight, eight step one. You're on the title of the position. So it's okay. heavy Depends machinery on equipment on operator, driver, I would driver, think they'd start them somewhere around here. Between right. There. Right. Yep. If you're saying Driver, 28, that would be 9. Labor. But that's where the foreman is right now. Mechanic. It would have to be the high end. So that would be the... Uh, eight, right? Well, here's 28. 25, 40 to 32, 44. So you would have to start. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're on the... Yeah, that one. So you're saying that it would start at 6. Correct. That's an average. If you look at the old one in the data rate, figure that out, correct? If you look at your data sheet and figure it out, yep. that's about average. Fred left at what step, June, <coughs> eight or nine? I didn't look at that. Don't one. lock yourself into anything until you no, no, see no. These people coming in. See the people coming in. Yeah, I hate to. I don't want to put a price on it, but once that person gets the exception, you got to tell them it's at step eight, grade six, or I mean, uh, yeah, the other right. way around. The survey information that we had had the average of twenty three ninety six to thirty o three. And we're twenty five forty to thirty two forty four. So we're higher than the Yeah, but you can't because if you look at the next person in that position, that person coming in will be making more than the foreman. Eight seven is where right. was, yeah. So the foreman's way up there, I think. I don't know about now. Yeah. Because of so um, what do you want to what do you want to do in the job ad? Do you want to take out the do you want to take out the uh, anticipated hiring rate that whole thing? Yeah, yeah, the anticipated the rate. hiring rate. Like we said before, I think we should take that out, but we can put the range in. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's a range that we got to go by. Because you're not going to pay somebody right. that just got their license $32 an hour compared to a guy that had right. for right. five years. Yep. Yeah, I'm using for an example. You can't do that. I mean, no. And people do talk, and you know whoever, what everybody's earning. You need to keep it so right. it's, if they come in. Until they get hired. Right. Yep, if they right. come in and they've got a lot of lic their, their yep. licenses and their certification, yep. then they deserve more money. And if they come in and they're green, then exactly. yep, they're going to have to work their way up. Yeah. We also have to keep in mind, too, that we only have so much budget into the position. So we don't have, you know, for example, we do not have a step 12 budgeted, right? So no. even even though the range shows up to a step 12, that is not yeah. something that's going to be offered. That's what we have budgeted. Right. We can't give budgeted. any more than that. Okay. What's that one? 29. Yeah. Um, is that for fiscal 23? Mm -hmm. So I mean, 
Yeah, um, 23. I yeah. do want to go back to the job description for the driver laborer because we didn't approve that job description yet. We approved the uh, advertise advertisement. Oh. Yeah. So I do want to just mention um, that I'd like to make a motion to approve the truck driver laborer uh, job description um, draft that we received with the um, just making sure that all the bullets are lined up and that the footer is at the bottom but otherwise it, it looked good to me I'll second that okay all those in favor aye aye, aye. okay so the, the next thing is the advertisement. Margaret, were you going to do a similar advertisement for this, um, for this uh, uh, heavy machinery equipment operator, yeah. driver, laborer, mechanic? I can, I can read that one to you. Okay. Bring you the draft here. So it is for highway department, heavy, uh, sorry, highway department, heavy machinery equipment operator, driver, laborer, mechanic. The Town of Berlin Highway Department seeks qualified candidates for the full-time, 40 hours per week benefited position of heavy machinery equipment operator, driver, laborer, mechanic, starting immediately. The position works under the direct supervision of, of the Highway and Facilities Superintendent uh, in performing skilled maintenance and repair work on town equipment and vehicles and operation of heavy machinery and Class B trucks. The successful candidate must possess a Class B motor vehicle license, Class B CDL, and I'll get back to that in a minute, and a 2A hydraulics license at time of hire. The range for this grade 8 position is 2540 to 3244 per hour, depending on qualifications and experience. A full job description is available at Submit Town of Berlin Employment Application to Select Board Office. Applications will be accepted until the position is filled. Now, Tom, I've got a question on the Class B. Yeah. Is, a Class B is a Class B motor vehicle license different than a Class B CDL driver's license? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, they're two different things? Well, I don't know if it's categorized. It's categorized, so you must have a health card to oh, drive. I see. Okay. And then you can drive a B vehicle, but you need an air brake endorsement because all the trucks have air brakes. And also you should throw in there, must have an OSHA 10 guide. Nope, I'm just, I'm typing that in right now. Okay. So I have a Class B motor vehicle license, Class B CDL, 2A hydraulics license, and OSHA 10 certification at time of hire. Correct. Okay. okay. All right. So. I'm sounding very, um, very official today. Did you notice that? Yeah. Oh, that's you. That's not me. That sounds all right. Yeah, that does. Um, so I'd like to make a motion that we approve that advertisement so that we can get that posted as well. I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And what do we want to do with the um, with the job description? <clears throat> Excuse me. That Mar that uh, Margaret sent a draft. It was just a couple of changes. Um, she added the OSHA 10 certification under special requirements, right, Margaret? And then we just changed up the name a little bit. Um, instead of Highway Mechanic Labor HMEO, we did HMEO Driver Labor Mechanic, correct? Or Labor or Driver Mechanic, correct? Yep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they're all in there. <laughs> I make a motion that we also approve that. I will second that. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. So that's been approved as well. Okay, good. Are you advertising still on Indeed? Uh, we had a problem <coughs> with uh, posting on Indeed for the administrative assessor position, and I ended up uh, posting that that on my own LinkedIn page because Indeed, we kept on getting a message that it that the posting was violating Indeed's policies, and they were supposed to have gotten back to me. And so I just posted it on my own LinkedIn, and we got a, we got one application um, through that. So, well, one more. Well, that's good. Okay. So I'm Indeed again. I don't know what the. the and also, okay. We put it on our website so any we other um, position yeah. vacancies now okay. you had sent some other drafts to us were we going to go over those tonight or 
um, the one of the things that I did want to mention was, and I hope everybody you're more than welcome to speak up was the patrol officer I'd like to see that in in our format so that it's it's easier for us to read it that way because now we're getting used to um, the way these are all set up um, the the job descriptions um, in that um, standard format that we're now using so when we see one that's not in that standard format it's not as easy for us to read through it so um, I just wanted to make and not only that there is an added layer to this because um, being a union environment um, it's not just a matter of approving the job description I do believe that the union is going to have to take a look at it right um, okay uh, and, and review it uh, because we do have other control officers uh, who are going to be subject to the same job description right so what would be the next step? Would you send that back to the chief and have them have him reformat it? Or how does pers personnel see it before yeah. the, um, okay. Or does the chief see it and then go over it with his? With the union? It's a subject for negotiation. Well, the chief actually did this draft. Um, but yes, I would I would send it back to him and have and ask him to have Abby put it in the standardized format, or he could put it in the standardized format, um, and then it could come back to you for. for okay. Yeah. All right. Does Does he have the format that it needs to be in? Abby does. I thought I sent okay. him because she's done the fire. But I will. I will double. Didn't Abby do the fire? Uh, okay. No, I think oh, okay. the fire chief made. Fire chief worked with Mary. Okay. So Abby doesn't have. Or she may not have the format. You may have to go through Mary. Oh, I wouldn't have sent it to Abby though. You're right. Oh, he just froze. In a really <laughs> weird spot too. <laughs> She's smiling, half she smiling. She is half smiling. Um, Did we ever have one of these before? That's what I was going to ask. Margaret. Did we was ever have a one of these? Between what the old one was versus. The new one? Oh, the police, the patrol officer? Yes. Yes. The second page is all, there's a whole bunch highlighted in yellow. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. The third page. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. into the fourth page. Right. There's a lot of yellow highlights. Mm -hmm. Oh, that she's yellow. Right. I'm not allowed. I'm cheap. I don't use color. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> but Did I'm a you player. see one of these? Yeah, I, well, I read okay. it at home. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought that I thought that that should go into the same format, and that way it's easier. Oh, for absolutely! To I just didn't know if there was a lot of change between what was versus is. Right. Because then it definitely the union would have. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send him a, a, a screenshot of that because I don't think that was in the original. I I have a question. Does the union who? who on, on this because it's the, a union can they say no we don't want this person or is it totally it's up to the, the person, chief it's the job, the job description. Job. okay description it's not a person it's a description okay i'm just saying yeah yeah because well, if he has all the requirements yeah, no, I don't think they have, I don't. Yeah, no, it, it, and this isn't anything to do with who or what. What? It's, it's just, this is what they're expected. Yeah. Expected, expected from them. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. if there's like a big change, then that okay, could be great. the union. Okay. Okay. In a, as a whole, not a person. Great. So this is basically for them yep. and us to go off of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, I know what we're dealing with. You're dealing with something totally different. Yep. Okay, okay, great. All right. Oh, so um, I actually did send him a job description in the proper format, but I think he might have misinterpreted. So Sandy had actually done a patrol officer job description for the town of Norfolk. Oh. That was in the proper format. Yeah. In our format. Um, I sent it to him and asked him to use that, but... Um, I'll um, I'll just I'll send this back to him and ask him to to put it in the in the format that I had previously sent him. Okay, great. 
Okay, perfect. Um, Before we leave those three, the highway and the police, I know that ADA, we have to be careful with, you know, people that physical limitations. But because... So you'll hold on the patrol officer, correct? Yes. Yep. But because eyesight, you know, is so... Eyesight and hearing is so I, yeah, important. Yeah, I assume you have to meet certain I'm just, criteria just for safety. Right, safety. But nothing else. my thought is, is you, come on, we all get older. Yes. Does that get checked on every, like, three to five years? I think it should. You know, for... Margaret, we don't have anybody go through a re evaluation right I mean I could for as far as eyesight goes or coordination or or hearing if you're hearing. driving and you can't hear medical no only if only if an issue is suspected would they do that so we don't do a periodic eyesight could have, when they because they have to go through a um, recertification for shooting Okay. Oh, and they have so to get it for their um, drive uh, license okay yes and we have to for uh, hearing Right. I don't, yeah, we, do. we don't know because right now we don't have a contract. Right, and I don't think the current one contains fitness standards. They have to pass physicals to does. join. But, but, but they do have to go through recertification for The police things. do a fitness test before they even come yeah. in for an interview because we had this big discussion because the fire right, doesn't. The next one is the fire, is the call fire loop. They do have to go. I don't understand this one at all. <laughs> on that one. Yeah, I just, um, I guess no. we're, I'm trying to figure out what this position is. Why is it a salaried position? It's not salaried. And why do we, it says right here, FLSA oh. exempt. So um, so I, I guess we, we need an understanding for, so now we're going to have more than one lieutenant? Um, or this, the, it sounds like this... <coughs> This person's a supervisor of some sort, and we so currently do have. Yeah, we had um, one, mm -mm, two. No, we had. There's a, actually, I think, a number of them. As Chief um, explained it, this person would temporarily fill Mike Wheeler's prior spot supervising Group Two. So I believe this is on the call. So this is no different Mike than Wheeler the call. Wasn't, Mike Wheeler wasn't a lieutenant. Mike Wheeler was a career. That's I right. Think. That's right. Well, why is a lieutenant in there? <coughs> he was a. He what? He wasn't a lieutenant, correct? Mike was. No. 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 He was not. Oh. So that why are we adding in career I, fire lieutenant? So we've got a, a few things, I guess that. Number one, a call fire lieutenant full time. So, do you want us to pause for you? No, I'm okay. Okay. So, a um, so we're going to have a second full time lieutenant. No, this, no. This is only an on call. So, this person is not intended at all to be full time. Where does it say full time? Clip? The very top top line. Full time. I know. At the top it says full time. FT. Full time. Yeah, no. No. Okay. Maybe he just inadvertently left that there from the full time lieutenant position. But. Maybe. <coughs> there. Yeah. So I, I guess that's what I was trying to figure out how many lieutenants we were going to have that are like supervising people because then it, you get to the point where we're, we're going to have more lieutenants than we do regular firefighter EMTs and I just thought to myself I'm not sure that's what what he wanted to do I was trying to figure out what I know that they usually when they have groups for the groups that are on call I shouldn't call it on call anymore. Per no, it's DM. still per diem. Per There's DM. usually somebody who's in charge of that group. Okay. But they're the on calls. Per diem is different than the on calls. It is. No. But they want. It is, but it's not. But it, yeah, it's the same thing. It's no, but, but, it, but it's separate because the per diems is actually a group that are being paid to be here. Right. They come in at night and just stay, and even if there is. They actually a have a day and a night. Oh. So, we okay. have somebody who actually um, is in charge of that group. So you wouldn't have two so, 
firefighter EMTs, you have to have a lieutenant. Usually they have somebody, so you don't have, like, I don't want to say newbies, but you don't have two new people who right, right. on yep. the group, I yep. think. And that's what I think that he's getting at. And right now, I think it was to move somebody in, because right now we have one call, one career firefighter. Uh, on per Currently. Per since Michael left. So is that, is that... Um, so temp Paulino or is he's that the one who's still here? Yes. Right. So he is a lieutenant. He's I not. Believe so. But he's not a tall firefighter. Is he a captain? No, no. He's the full time. Well, he, he's a full -time. he should be. He's a career. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. He's a career. That's what's meant by that. Okay. And that's that's, that's what, what I was getting confused was. on. Career. Okay. Fire lieutenant. So I think it, we're looking at two different things. I think one is he was redoing the whole job description for a lieutenant okay but currently what it is is in I don't have a completed PAF on it was he's hiring somebody temporarily and this is where this came from um, somebody temporarily to help cover for that shift okay um, is what he was doing and I think that's why he revamped this so I don't believe this is actually to be used for a career me, wrong, Myra, um, no <coughs> for on call Say. I don't understand or why he's hiring somebody temporary. I'm totally confused right now. But he's not hiring anybody temporary to cover <coughs> the career. He's trying to get it so that somebody, I believe, is in charge of the group currently. Because okay, so he's looking for a full-time call person. Current, so we're looking at two different things. Right. Yes. This yeah. year he's redoing, I think, for the new hire that's coming in. Okay. To so cover this? the career. I believe so, but I don't know that 100%. No, 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 to cover the career. Still a career firefighter EMT position. But this one, this the, job is this he told me that is, is for temporary. Okay, so that's what it is, so. Temporary. <coughs> temporary what? for what? Temporary for what, Margaret? We're trying to figure that out. I'm totally confused. I'm so many I had asked. Because Mike was a full time. Full -time. Right. So. Okay, but someone has been interviewed as in the process of taking that position. Yes. That's, separate. That's separate. Mike's position is separate. We've so had somebody, that somebody he is currently having somebody to come in as temporarily promoted to a call acting lieutenant in charge of yeah. operational group two until such time the Berlin Fire Department call lieutenants promotion process has been completed. So this is just somebody who's coming in. I but don't, this is to give know. him uh, what is your job to do as a lieutenant, I think. But I don't understand why he just doesn't do the promotion. Why are we going through... If he has somebody that's going to be in promoted house, to that position... Go to this. Am I'm, I right? I'm just... I, this whole thing just confuses me, but I'm trying. It might be the allergy medicine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so, so you're right. So, so somebody in-house already. The email says that the acting lieutenant appointment is temporary. He is replacing Mike Wheeler as the lead person in the operational group two. But Mike was Mike was a lieutenant. And he was asking he for was a not. copy of the So he was all he was was a lead. The new format. Yeah of the lieutenant's job description. So in other words, what is expected of an acting lieutenant? We are down one career and one call officer at this time. Uh -huh. And I would like to work with personnel and TA to review down the new formatted job descriptions. One career. So we're down one career. That would be Michael Wheeler's position, right? Mike and then was he's trying to also fill a new call department lieutenant's position. I think Michael was a group leader. Yes. That's what I mean, was. but he wasn't group a lieutenant. Two. Group two. He was yeah. a group but leader. But this is, okay. They're, they're asking for a lieutenant. He was a group leader. That's what I got confused he, on. No, he was, he got some, what was, what, get a copy of them. Okay. What was his rank? Okay, June, you just read that. Firefighter yeah, EMT, no, okay. period. Yes, that's what I'm getting confused at. Why are we... It is. I thought. This is what I'm, I'm saying, Claire. Well, I'm not even... Well, career fire lieutenant. But the last person wasn't a lieutenant. He was a lead 
firefighter EMT. So now it right. I don't know if he got a um, stipend. Do you know, Margaret? Did so. No. Michael was a firefighter EMT. That's wh how he was hired. And did he get some type of stipend or something to be a group leader? I don't believe there are any operational group leader stipends in that contract. Okay. I don't have it in front of me, though. I, I, Is Paulino a group leader? I, I don't no, he's a lieutenant. 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 And he can't do P. Per, he can't do sleepovers because he's a full time, right? He can't do the P per DM. Right. So he's a lieutenant. So. Um, Uh, we're just trying to figure out, okay, so we're, we're going to fill Michael's firefighter EMT position, correct? That's is that what, what you've been interviewing? That's what we interviewed, and there is a candidate chosen. If the I'm not sure saying that the job has been filled, right. but there was a candidate. Okay. All right. So that was posted as firefighter EMT, correct? I was a firefighter EMT. Okay. So, this position. Is it just because Michael or somebody oversaw the, um, what did you say? I group. heard group two or group B or something like that? Group, group two. two. So, did he not get any extra pay for that, or? Mike, Mike wasn't a lieutenant. Right, exactly. He was a lead he was firefighter. A, no, he was a firefighter slash EMT. There was no lead fire, there is no lead. What the hell does she just say? Group leader. The group leader. Yeah, group right. lead. But there is no group leader. I, no, okay. I'm that almost part. thinking then we need to have the chief come in, I would say, and talk it over just yeah, you know, we're we trying to guessing. we're just we're guessing. trying to figure out the the hierarchy, you know, and I, I I guess I am too, and the other thing is on this particular job description it does state that the the uh, paramedic is required, so I didn't know if that's something that are we moving towards that Not or at this point in time. Not as of today. So um, and then uh, under physical requirements. Well, it, it just mentions that the minimal physical effort is required to perform administrative duties. So I guess I was looking to see how much of the work is administrative duties. And it does state that it performs highly responsible duties requiring independent judgment and initiative in planning, organizing, and directing the work of the fire department. So I just thought, and I guess my other question was that it's um, an exempt salary position. And I, I didn't think that that's what we were looking for. It's Peg. She's hiding. Um, and I have, are you, are you done with your concerns? Because yeah. now here I go. Oh, yeah, I just, yeah, I think it would be best to probably have the chief come and Yeah, because I, I have a real issue with a couple things in here. Um, we, you know, the elephant in the room is the fire department's morale. They're working on it, trying to get it right. up. Yep. And to have a lieutenant, no matter what he is, under the supervision of another lieutenant is we need, you hear that, you know, you're the full-time guy and you're telling the on-call who's probably been in the department for 15 years. Maybe we need to think about, he needs to think about the rankings and somehow. It just, I'm not sure why that bothers me, but it really does. And the other thing is, I have a little question that this on-call person has to ensure that the apparatus is inspected and for operational readiness. If you're an on-call person, you're coming in. That should be ready. That should be ready. That's the full-time. Let's see right now. I think we're down, and I think he he may have combined them, not thinking about. Yeah, what that he could. Was, yeah, is what did. I'm thinking, just based on too. what I read on it. But quickly. little things like that. No, absolutely. That should it not needs to be addressed. I mean, no, yeah. he absolutely your part yeah. your call 
Your call lieutenant should absolutely report any issues that he found in the equipment. And if he has the opportunity and time, yes, he should address it. Yeah. But he shouldn't have to ensure that the apparatus is inspected and ready to go. Because he's sitting at home getting the phone call to get in here because there's a house on fire. Yeah, I, I don't know what the ranking is, so like I don't know if it's normal for a call firefighter to be ranked at lieutenant. Right. I don't know the answer. Okay. Um, I, is, don't we have another one that's... I, that's what I just went to try to, to We don't see, have an old I, one. I thought we had... Um, oh, those are names. Yeah, um, we have deputy, we have a marshal, and right now that's all that's listed here is the different... Yeah, so we've got a chief, a deputy chief, an assistant chief, a fire marshal, a captain, a lieutenant, okay. and a firefighter EMT. Last okay. Do you want me to put you on speaker just for fun? <laughs> okay, hold on. Do you All right, list you're going on speaker. Do you have a list of firefighters? I don't. I'm in my office, I do. No, don't. Don't I get up. Okay, you there, Margaret? Would you lo you'll, we lose 45 you? 45 minutes is all we could use. Oh, okay. Yeah. Coming up. yeah. Oh, okay. That's okay. All right. So, so here's, what, here's what we'll do. I mean, uh, well, I, can, you know, I can let you know that there are, you know, the person on the duty <coughs> has a number of questions on the job description and how the position is going to be utilized. Okay. And so um, I'll ask him to... You know, review the job. I'll just mention a couple of things that you talked about tonight, and and ask him, would you like him to come to your next meeting? That'd be great. Fine. Okay. All right. I'll ask him to come to your next meeting, so you can talk through it with him. Because everything else, I think we'd just be guessing at. Yeah, I, right. I just don't want to put words in anybody's mouth. But we that's just what I'm kind of we want to like make I'm, sure yeah, that that's what's going to happen. Is we're just going to look at this and, and assume what he's thinking, and if he's not, right, then, right. I'm just yeah. confused. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Um, okay, so I'll ask him to here. Okay. Right, okay. The next item on the agenda, uh, do we have any other position? I think that was all the position descriptions. Yeah. Um, what other information as town administrator did you want to convey to us? Well, did everyone do their I know, unfortunately, Jim and I don't have a lot of time tonight to go over it. Yeah, that's okay. The next meeting, yep. if, we, if we could really, you know, I, I think if we have an opportunity to really dig in and take care of those yep. um, and really clean up some of the stuff that yep. we've already gone through, set it to the side so we can focus on only one small. Okay. That sounds good to me, yeah. Um, the only thing can I ask, because I tried really hard today to try to figure this out, and it could have just been because I was using my afternoon break, yep. which doesn't work as well as the morning one. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as, because unfortunately we're starting at 6 Yeah. on yeah. it, and uh, I'm going to need something there that tells me how to calculate it, because I tried like 100 million ways. Okay, to I'll take a look at that then. And yeah. I'm thinking where you live in the outside world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There um, might be something a little bit easier. The other question I had was on what they called, what, what Sandy called extended sick leave. We yeah. didn't have that. So yeah. We have long-term sick, and I wondered if we should be putting our long-term sick in there. Okay. All right. It, is that what it's called, long-term well, sick we, or long-term disability? We, sick. we have sick pay. Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty much a short-term you have to go to the doctors, you got the snippets, right. you're going to stay home, whatever. And then we have long term. So if you're out sick for an extend, extended um, time period, you can use it, but it has to be for certain things. Okay. And you're also allotted X amount, but it's not like you can't get a check for it when you leave. It's only there if you need to use While it. While you're for employed. Um, but wasn't that always called long term? We call it long term. Dis long-term sick yeah, or long-term long long sick, term sick because we also have long-term disability right. where you can get that yeah but you have to pay for it we don't offer that right so okay like yeah there's so that's two different categories correct right now now yes okay and yep. if you don't use all your regular like 10 days yep or you lose it right okay okay 
So the other thing, Margaret, is um, just one more thing. I, we did review that um, information technologies resources policy acknowledgement. Yeah. Just so when I went online and looked at acknowledgement, so there's two different ways we can spell it, and we we put it in both ways. So <laughs> we covered it. But. We, we covered it. So anyway, just take a look at that when you get a chance. And I think we want to probably do it with the e at the end. But you can also, um, I guess, the preferred spelling according to Google is with with just the L E D G. So. We, we need to do it one way or the other, but probably not both. Um, yeah, I will. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for that. That must have been in my book. So, so take a look at that when you get a chance. And we will, we will be prepared to discuss, you know, get really down and dirty with the policies next time. And I think um, the other thing was too is there was something also about the ethics um, conflict of interest. I thought there was a class we used to have to go online and take and get like a signed off thing that oh. we had to give to Eloise. Yeah. Yes. So, we, and yeah. I went on our website to try to find it and I couldn't find it anywhere. So um, but I was just thinking that should probably go in here somewhere yeah. also. It's not, not yeah. Idea. So where it says employees uh, must follow the conflict of interest law, we should add the specifics about the biannual bi training. Yeah, and, and I didn't know if we wanted to put that in it as an appendix somewhere, so it was the actual form was in there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. What page was, okay, I, I'm going to scroll down. So Sorry. Um, Uh, 38 ish. That's him. It's okay. not me. It wasn't me. It wasn't We're going to have to figure out a way to alternate this between the same nights as finance committee. I know. So if you, you tell us, tell us what wor works best for you guys. But I don't want you to have to do every single Wednesday night, too. Um, well, it, it finance, will be, finance will be slowing down now. Uh, they're going to have before July 15th. That's the town meeting. Um, and they'll probably have to have a couple of meetings in between, but they shouldn't have to meet every single week after town meeting. Right, they shouldn't. I just want, we want to make sure that we're scheduling ourselves on a night that works for everybody. Like, I've just been going with the every other week. And uh, so we've been just kind of jumping in there. And I kind of follow, because Kev's got the, um, and Roger and them have the assessors. Um, it's every other week. And so I've been kind of following the, that so schedule. Maybe if we can find Does out finance tonight finance next tonight. Wednesday? No, tonight. Yeah, ask them. So next we'll check Wednesday? with them to yeah. see when they're final or when they, because I'm thinking it would be really nice if we can kind of go over, if not finish this before Margaret leaves us. Right, I absolutely. Would really like to. I'd love to. Yep. So Even if we have to have an extra meeting June too, I don't mind. Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking is is that if there's any way that we can do it just to even because I really don't think it's going to take a lot, mm -mm. you know what I mean? But I think because yeah. we're only doing it like in little half yeah. an hour. Or yeah, yeah. But now hard. it's like we get a lot of laws stated, and so those are going to be easy. Just yeah, to Hopefully. make sure those are just in the right place. Right. And and my term expires in May. Oh, that's <laughs> the other <laughs> thing. May. Tom's term. May thirtieth. Thirty first. Uh, don't worry about it. You didn't put in that you don't want to be reappointed, so tag your it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we want Tom to be reappointed. We have to have yeah. Tom say and yes. All you need to do is, yeah, we don't have to ask him. That. Okay. No quick questions to make me say yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I did. I did add red lines tonight on pages 33 to 44. Okay. And on a couple of the appendices that those sections refer to, but we can go over that next meeting and um, add all of your... Uh, Are all you guys available parts. next Wednesday? We'll do it next yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. If that's possible. And let June ask finance and see what they say. Because I was going to say, I don't, finance is meeting Monday. <laughs> that's and town that's, meeting. And and that's oh, pretty that's much right. right now, I think, oh, yeah, the only is. one that they have scheduled. 
Wait, wait. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, and it, Claire, are you are you planning on making the motion for the personnel bylaw article? Yes, you are. Okay. I don't. I hadn't planned on it, but sometimes he allows you to say as written, so you yeah. don't have to read the whole thing. You can just say that I make a motion to. It's written out. You just read it. I make a motion for Claire to say it too. <laughs> you got a second it quick. Oh, that's like good job. Okay. So is it just a small short motion and I just come up and get it and read it? I think so, yeah. Let me find my motion sheet now. Oh, I think Mary sent him out. Mary. Mm. <coughs> yeah, she did. Oh, let me pull up her motions. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you in a second. There there's no reason to have to uh, there's no reason I don't think to have to read the entire no, motion no, because no. The, the article itself referred to the handout. Everyone is going to receive the handout in their mailer, and there's going to be more mailers available. So that's the draft personnel bylaw that's proposed. So let's see. Ooh, I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't want to save that. Oh my goodness, I almost just, I almost saved our personnel policies over the town meeting motions. That oh, that oh would be geez, really bad. don't do that. That would not be good. Slow down, slow down. Yeah, I'm just slow down here. Let me just see what the motion says. Um, it is motion. Here it is. And I believe it's our, it's either our, it's Article 29, I think, 29, let me go out. Yeah. Oh, so here it is. It, Claire, it just reads, I move that the town amend the general bylaws by deleting Article 8, Personnel and Procedures, in its entirety and replacing it with a text shown on the town meeting handout titled May 2, 2022, Annual Town Meeting, Article 29, General Bylaw Amendment, Article 8, Personnel Bylaw, on file in the town clerk's office. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll be, I'll be right there I mean, up front, so. I don't even know if we'll have the yeah. file. Like Shut up the big sign. The, um, we won't even have to put that, probably. So it'll be short. Okay. And if anyone has any questions, I'll be there. You'll we'll be there. And we can, uh, we can help answer. You guys. Can okay. That sounds good. Okay. Can I make a motion that we adjourn this meeting? I will second that. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 So, we're adjourning. And now, Roger turned it off.